Hi everybody, it's Adam with heartvalvesurgery.com and we are in Chicago at the Heart Valve Summit. We're answering the questions that you submitted at the website and our Facebook page and I'm thrilled to be here with Dr. James Thomas, who's a professor of medicine. He is also the director of the Center for Heart Valve Disease at Northwestern Medicine here in Chicago. Thanks for being with us, Dr. Thomas. Great to be with you, Adam. Yeah, and so we're answering these great questions. One came in, Dr. Thomas, from Susan Molina. She asks, I was told that I have a small leak in my mitral valve and not to worry about it. I'm 59 years old. Is this something that I should worry about? And is it possible that I may need to have surgery later on? Well, that's a, uh, a fabulous question, Susan, and, and it's one that I get all the time. Um, first of all, understand that the vast majority of valves have a little bit of a leak through it. These valves are not perfect. When they close, they frequently sweep up a little bit of uh, a blood with them, and, and there will be just a little jet that goes back into the atrium. Our echocardiogram equipment has gotten so sensitive now that we can pick up a little bit of flow in just about every valve we look at. Um, so the devil is really in the details. If it's truly one of these trivial physiological leaks there, that is most likely never going to be of concern to you. You just need to take care of your heart as you would anyway. Keep your blood pressure down, keep your cholesterol down, do all the things that we do to, to maintain heart health, be active. Um, now, if it's more significant than just this trivial amount, then that may be something that your doctor wants to monitor over time. And getting an echo every two or three years is not a bad idea if you've got mild MR now. Occasionally that will progress and, and sometimes uh, it will progress to the point that it causes you symptoms and we ought to do something about it. But uh, rest assured, we have a lot of good solutions to take care of valves these days. So hopefully you won't need anything the rest of your life. If you do, we've got you covered. Great. Well, Susan, I hope that helped you. As always, Dr. Thomas, I know it's going to help our community, all the patients out there. We cannot thank you enough for all the great things that you're doing at Northwestern Medicine. Just say, keep it up, all the great work. All right. Thank you so much, Adam.